right guys, hope you're well. So, we're having a bit of fun today because, well, I, I want to, so we're going to. And that's the only reason we need. So in a previous video, I created Value Mead. It was the cheapest possible mead we could make. And I'll stick the link up there if you guys haven't seen it, but uh, it was actually pretty good. Everyone that tried it actually really liked it. So, uh, this honey, this stupidly cheap honey, isn't so bad. So we're gonna have a few experiments with it, because uh, I can, and I want to, so I'm going to. Yeah, that, that's pretty much the theme. So what I've got is two, a mere two cheeky jars of this honey. And then I have about 150 grams of ginger, and we're going to make a ginger spiced mead, a metheglin. We can call it whatever you want. Now you can get really, really fancy with uh, with your honeys. I mean, you can. You can spend as much as you want. You can spice your ginger, pepper it with a bit of pepper, maybe a bit of chili, cardamom, cloves. I mean, the list goes on. We're keeping it nice and basic. Now, this is because this honey actually has a pretty nice taste. It's just a little bit weak. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a gallon batch. We're going to freeze distill it. That's why I'm only using two jars, not three or four or five. And uh, we're going to get more of the honey flavor and more of the ginger flavor. That's why we're only using a small piece of ginger. But it smells so good. So with that being said, let's get started. So I've got my demijohn in the background, as you see here, looking lovely. It's got bleach and dish soap in it, you know, thin bleach from Tesco. Dish soap from Aldi. It's not fairy for a change. And it's just sterilizing away. We don't really need to sterilize anything to start off with, because uh, we've got to heat through the ginger to extract all the tasty juices. So first things first is I'm going to take off the skin. I found the skin is kind of bitter. You can leave it on, but uh, I'm not going to, so I don't have to. And just a bit of a spoon and just give it a little scrape and it actually comes straight off. Uh, it actually took me a little while to work that out. So uh, I'm just gonna, oh, it smells so good. Just gonna strip off all of the outer flesh. Ooh. And there we go. In a few seconds, we have stripped all the skin off and we just took off the skin and left pretty much all the ginger there. And it smells so good. Now, if you have a cheese grater, you can grate this up. It works a lot better, but uh, my other half has squirreled mine somewhere. Or I've broken it, or she's broken it and thrown it away. Not sure which. So I'm gonna have to finally slice my ginger. So just, uh, cut it into some nice chunks and uh, yeah I'm just gonna cut these up so my ginger has been diced up uh, wish I had a grater but it is still it's pretty damn fine as it is so in a pan it goes just a clean one, doesn't need to be sterilized because we're going to be boiling, oh yes. Now, uh, it's lots of people have various different sort of ways they deal with ginger. I've always found that if you boil ginger too long, it kind of has a weird taste when it ferments. That's just what I found. So what I do is dice the ginger, I take the skin off. I don't want that slight bittering agent in there. And then I take some cold water. It doesn't matter at the minute as long as it is under sort of four liters, but this is about a liter's worth. And in goes my liter of cold water. Now I'm just gonna stick my hard bomb and I'm gonna let it come up to the boil. And that should be just about the right amount of time for all the juices and the flavors to come out or all the juices and flavors that we need. So uh, it's in about five minutes. Right, so it's been a few minutes. While this has been heating up, just gently, nice and slowly, it's just starting to come up to the boil. 
which gave me plenty of time to sterilize my funnel, a sieve, because I don't want the bits inside the demijohn, it's just a pain to clear up. Also, finished sterilizing the demijohn and uh, the airlock, as well as the hydrometer, scorched the jug and then refilled it with cold water, and uh, yeah, boiled the kettle as well, because I've got to get the honey out of the jars. So, all I'm going to do now is uh, turn tree off. And the smell. Oh, there is something about fresh ginger that just beats powdered ginger every time. Like powdered ginger is more of just sort of a very mild gingery taste and more the heat. Whereas this, oh, especially if you do it nice and slow, it's got a lot of fragrance to it. It is just, oh, it's really good. Even though we're not using a lot because we're going to be concentrating this down. So, since this is nice and hot, I've got my yeast nutrient, because we need to add some in. And I'm going to add a cheeky teaspoon, about, there we go. Job is a good one. Now we can just give that a mix around. I ended up using a wooden spoon, but since hot water sterilizes, it all worked out really well. So, just move that out of the way. So let's prepare. A lovely sterilized demijohn. Now my worktop has also been sterilized, which means I can put stuff down on it. Really handy. No contamination. So, got my honey and uh, since we're doing nothing special with it, let's just pour it in. Now I know I'm going to need my funnel because I get it everywhere. Oh yes, and straight in it goes. This could take a, this could take a minute. While we wait for the honey to catch up, add in a bit of hot water. There we go. So uh, this is just going to take a minute or two. So the honey has made its way through. It's now in the bottom looking, uh, looking pretty good actually. Lovely light color honey. That's what, we, that's what we call it. So because I am cool and uh, I've done this a few times, I've got a load of cold water. Now I have filled up my kettle with cold water as well. And I'm going to approximately fill this halfway with cold water straight from the tap, and since it's almost freezing outside, it's almost ice cold, which is nice. So, in goes a bit more. There we go. That is, that's pretty cold. Ah, uh, just a little bit more. There we go. Give it a swirl. We're going to be shaking it in a minute anyway, so there we go. Now on goes our funnel. Oh yes. Now if we added this hot, just slightly under boiling liquid into here directly without any of the cold water, it would smash the demijohn. Just like if we used a plastic one, it would shrink it and warp it. But because we've added in a large amount of cold water, when we add in this hot stuff, it will even itself out pretty quick. And since I don't need this anymore, gingery. Ooh, that's quite nice. So, there we go, the two-handed job. And here we go. In goes a ginger. I lick that. Don't, don't do that. I've got my spoon that I no longer need. Just press out all the juice. Oh yeah. Oh, that ginger smells good. Right, there we go. All right. 
Might as well give it a damn good shaking. Since this is slightly warm, it is slightly warm. This will hopefully help mix in the honey easier. Oh yeah, seems to have worked really well. So in goes more cold water. That there is good enough. Give it another mix around. That smells really good. If I didn't know better, it has a ginger smell. It's got that honey, almost slightly floral fragrance and a little bit lemony. Hmm, weird, since we didn't add any lemon. So, it's not a lot of froth on the top. It has a beautiful light color. Let's see what it reads on the hydrometer. There it goes. So we did use two jars of honey. It's not gonna be huge and vast, but we will concentrate it so it will be doubled when we're finished. So according to the hydrometer, it is reading slightly over 7%, which is cool. So slightly over 7% is 1.044 perfectly respectable it's got the nutrients already it's already got the ginger oh, and the honey you can really smell the ginger we didn't use that much i normally like a lot of ginger usually so the yeast that we're going to be using is just universal wine yeast it's going to give a good clean fermentation to almost dryness if not dryness which I'm looking forward to. Now, because we're freeze concentrating, that's why I want it down to dryness because we're gonna be basically concentrating everything in here, including the sugars, because honey is not purely fermentable. No, it's not 100% fermentable. So there will be some residual sugars left over. So just sprinkle a little bit on the top and it's just done. I mean, all we gotta do, stick that on the top. It already has water in there and voila, we have created a ginger mead. Actually looks quite nice. I like the color. The color is pretty nice. It's nice and light. It smells gingery and kind of spicy and herbal. It's really good. So I hope you join me for part two where we get to uh, turn this into a beast. Yeah, something like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to check out some of the other ones and well, subscribe if you feel like it. And you know, comment and you know what to do by now. Carry on homebrewing, guys. See you later.